By the year 2030, it's predicted that this cancer will be the second leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide. And beside it being the hardest cancer to cure, it also happens to be the hardest cancer to detect early. As someone who both work and do my PhD on cancer, I have to admit that so far, it seems like we have no effective treatments to stop this cancer in most people, neither to discover it early or to make sure it doesn't grow back again once we remove it. Now look, I'm not here to scare you, but I have to tell you that we are still struggling very hard in fighting this particular cancer. So this is what we know about one of the most dangerous diseases threatening human life, pancreas cancer. The pancreas itself is one of our vital organs that produces insulin and other hormones in our bodies. And these things help us with digestion and regulate our blood sugar levels. A key challenge with the pancreas is its location. It's hidden behind the stomach, deep within the abdomen, close to the intestines, spleen, liver, and other vital organs. By the way, during my research process on the topic, I also find some cool facts about the pancreas in case you would like to know more about the topic, and I put them in the end of the video. I think I called it the appendix section, but you can help me to find a better name. All right, let's go back to the video. So if any cancer cells begin to form in the pancreas, in that hidden region in the abdomen, you can imagine that it will be hard to discover them most of the time. If the cancer starts to spread, then the consequences become detrimental as it's surrounded by other vital organs. All right, but now you might be wondering, what makes this cancer in this case so hard to cure? Well, despite all the advancements in surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiotherapy, and other awesome treatments we have today, pancreatic cancer is still able to defend itself and resist all these treatments. Here are the main reasons why this is happening based on research. The cell mutations that occur during pancreas cancer are still very new to us to understand and make therapies that are effective to stop them from growing. The way these tumors form in the pancreas are usually very entangled with other blood vessels and organs, which makes it extremely hard to remove them surgically. These tumor cells can also create a protective shield surface around the tumor, protecting it from any drugs and treatments we consider effective against cancer today. And even if we remove all the oxygen and limit the blood supply on these tumors, they are still able to grow and spread. And to make our mission even harder, this kind of cancer is one of the most effective cancers in hiding in the body, as it shows almost no symptoms in its early stages. Now I have to admit that it's quite fascinating to find a cancer in nature that is so stubborn and smart at the same time that is able to avoid and protect itself from our most effective treatments. But there are certain patients that are able to survive this cancer despite it being so hard to cure. And from my research, I noticed that there seem to be three primary reasons to why this is happening. The first thing that those who survive pancreas cancer seem to have is the fact that it was detected early, either by luck or through symptoms. The second reason is that the cancer is still contained within the pancreas and has not spread to other regions, also known as a localized stage. The third reason is that their pancreas cancer was considered safe to remove surgically. So as you can see, the keywords for survival are being able to detect it early, discover the symptoms, and surgery. But to be fair, the most important one is symptoms, as they will lead you to identify the cancer early in time and hopefully be able to remove it with surgery. So let's talk about the symptoms that can be associated with pancreatic cancer. If you think that most of these symptoms sound easy to notice and can't be ignored, then you are absolutely right. The problem, however, is that about 50% of all patients don't have these symptoms until it's too late, and the cancer has already spread around the body. So the main symptoms that are easy to observe are unintentionally weight loss, abdominal pain, and yellowing of the eye and the skin. And the other symptoms that are much harder to connect to pancreatic cancer are loss of appetite, itching of skin, dark urine, tiredness and weakness, and a new diagnosis of diabetes, or if you already have diabetes, then it's getting harder to control. By having one or more of these symptoms, it might already indicate that the cancer is on its path to reach advanced stages that makes it harder to cure. But nonetheless, it doesn't exclude the fact that there is still a possibility 
to remove it with surgery. In fact, from my research on the topic, I realized that the scientist seems to be approaching a breakthrough in pancreatic cancer. So here are the key highlights that I found and I would like to share with you. The scientific research indicates that today, we know more about pancreas cancer than ever before. The first cool discovery is that there are certain biological processes that happen during pancreatic cancer that can allow us to identify it easier than before. And also use these processes to send our drugs beyond the shields of the tumor cells. One of these discoveries is the production of exosomes. Exosomes are the smallest delivery packages that cells make to communicate with other cells around it. You can think of exosomes as small treasure boxes. They contain proteins, DNA, mRNA, and other important information that the cells need to communicate with other cells. So the scientists discovered that exosomes are produced more in pancreatic cancer patients and exosome serum levels are significantly increased compared with healthy individuals and non-pancreatic cancer patients. So now we can use these exosomes to help us identify, diagnose, and even monitor pancreas cancer easier than before. All right, let's move on to the next discovery. The next discovery was the HDAC inhibitors, a type of anti-cancer drugs that are able to penetrate that shielding layer around the cancer and attack the tumor. If you remember that this shielding layer was one of the reasons to why it's hard to cure pancreatic cancer in the first hand. The next breakthrough was the discovery of an experimental drug known as NP137. This drug seems to focus on pancreatic cancer that has spread to the liver only. This is very good news, however, because the cancer cells in the liver usually have a different biology from the primary tumor in the pancreas and are often able to resist standard treatments. A clinical trial at the Wilmore Cancer Institute is planned for early in 2024, and we hope that the outcome will be very promising for future patients. Okay, so now we have arrived to the part where I collected some cool stuff that I would like to tell you about and share with you during my research process of making this video. The first information that I found that was super cool is that you can actually survive without your pancreas. And that's possible now, but wasn't possible before because once you remove the pancreas, you immediately have diabetes, and then you have to live you the rest of your life taking insulin and other enzymes that help you digest your food and control your blood sugar levels. And that wasn't possible before due to the lack of these medications. But now thankfully, if the patient have it, an advanced stage of pancreatic cancer, it's possible to remove the entire pancreas. However, that will require you to change your diet too and not only rely on medications. The second cool fact is that the person who discovered this anatomical region in the pancreas, called today the pancreas duct, that person was actually murdered because of it. In 1642, a German anatomist called John George Versong discovered the pancreatic duct after performing a dissection on a man who had been hanged for murder. He named it the duct of Versong after himself, which may have upset some people, and actually got him killed the following year by a guy who wanted to have his name instead of Versong. The other cool fact is that it takes between 12 to 18 hours for the pancreas to survive outside the human body. However, the highest sensitivity organ, the organ that survives for less time outside the body, is the heart. And the one that can survive the longest outside the body is the kidneys that can survive up to like 36 or 40 hours outside the body. So I hope that you learned something in you and uh, I enjoyed this new section that I added to the video. Just learning cool stuff that I found along the research process of making my videos. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.